morning, everybody. Welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live daily show on the photography and video topics on YouTube every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. Hey, this is a Q&A show, which means that you are watching one of three videos that will start off exactly the same, except that there's going to be a different description of the question here. Or is it there? I forget where I put it. Phil Blake says, Hi, Joseph. Great review. This is about the Slider 1. I bought the Slider 1 with motion module and connected it to my GH5 with the P1 2.5 millimeter trigger cable. However, it does not trigger the camera shutter when I'm trying time-lapse mode. I connected the cable before powering on the camera, very important, and put it in single photo mode, that's also important, and the app is working as it is moving the slider correctly each frame but is still not triggering. Are there any settings you need to put the camera in to make this work or should you just be able to plug and play? I'm assuming the camera should be in single photo mode. So he's correct all the way through. Everything he said is accurate in there. So I don't know why it isn't working for him, but I did set this up again this morning just myself just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything and it did work. So we're, I'm just gonna walk through the setup of it real quick and hopefully that will help you Phil Blake to recreate this at home. I don't know what else was going on there. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna take this off. We don't need this on here anymore. Oh, I do need this however on my iPhone, that's right. So we're gonna need this because the iPhone of course controls the slider one. Um, I am sure I'll go ahead and mount this thing on here, why not? So this is the slider one. If you haven't seen this thing before from Edelkrone, it is a, it's a mini slider and it was, um, let's turn it, we'll leave it this way. It is a mini slider and this has a motor on it so it can do motorized slides, which is crazy cool. And in addition to that, you can buy this little adapter here that allows us to do uh, time lapse because the the slider will control the camera, tell the camera when to take pictures. So this is for doing a time lapse plus slide move simultaneously. It's really cool. All right, so step one, turn off the camera. You have to have the camera turned off when you connect this, and then obviously turn the camera back on once it's connected, or it won't work. I discovered this the hard way. It took me forever to figure this one out. I had to get on tech support with them before they said, turn off the camera, plug it in. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. Uh, I don't think it matters which end goes into which. So I'm going to see. We got a little. I know I don't have a close up camera here again. Sorry, but there's a little camera jack input on here. The slider one does not come with this cable. It's an extra cable because what cable you buy is going to depend on what camera you have. Right. So uh, in this case, I've got the GH5 and all the Lumix cameras use the same one. Plugs into the remote on the side here. Plug that guy in. There we go. Turn it on. And camera's on. Now, the camera is in single shutter mode, normal picture taking mode. Just as Phil Blake said, he thought that's what it was and that is correct, that is what it needs to be in. So that's on. So now let's fire up the, the uh, slider app and let's go to, there we go. So we'll go back. So on here, um, you set your speed and we're not gonna go into a whole thing of how to set this up. We actually, we've done this before to some degree. Uh, we'll link to that up here. I did a video around this whole setup. It's, it's crazy cool. I mean, I absolutely love this thing. So if you're interested in it, check that out. Check out the slider one, beautiful, beautiful product. Okay, so back to this. Um, so I'm gonna set up speed here. We're gonna do something really fast. Um, so it's a short duration time lapse. And then right in the middle of the screen, kind of middle, middle, you see there's a little button that says convert to time lapse. So I tap that and now I choose my duration. And if I choose too short of a duration, let's say I set a one minute and I hit start, it's gonna say the time lapse duration is too short. Minimum for my current settings is nine minutes. I go, okay, okay, fine. So I go up here, let's set it to nine minutes. And if, unless they fix it, even setting to nine minutes won't work. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's a bug. Still there, it's, I've set it to nine. It still says nine is not short enough. So we go to 10 and now it's gonna work. Now I hit there. And it starts and you heard the camera fire and it's moving. I mean, it's obviously moving very slowly, but the camera is moving and the exposure is triggering. So that's it. There was no, there's no other special secret magic sauce, Phil. Um, I don't know what would have been going wrong with yours. So I would say just starting from scratch, again, go through that process, turn the camera off, plug in the cable, turn the camera on, make sure you are in your standard single exposure mode. You can be in electronic or mechanical shutter, doesn't matter, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Um, go here and I hit abort and it says sure and I say yes, sure and it aborts and that stops. Um, but that's it, there's really nothing special about it. Maybe, maybe your time lapse was too long, it was too spread out and it was just not, it was gonna be like half an hour before it took the first picture. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what else it could have run into, but it does work. So 
hopefully you can get that sorted out. And if, uh, if you're still having troubles, post another comment on this video and I'll see if I can help you out. But otherwise, you know what, you can call their tech support and they really do have good tech support. And I, like I said, I had to call them to get it set up the first time as well. And, but for me, it was because I wasn't plugging it in before turning it on. Let me see if there's any questions on here about this. And otherwise we're going to jump out of this and go into the extended Q and A. Um, okay, anything else? Nope, we're good. All right, guys, thank you very much for that. So stick around and we'll come back for the, the extended questions. Um, what do we call this? Open Q&A, if you will.